Bajek getting Bajek Phoenix back on the way. Uh, behind me in the BRZ, we have literally a truck full of JDM parts, including a bumper and many other surprises that won't explore just yet. Uh, so yeah, uh, it took us a while to put everything back in, but and obviously it took us a while to put out another video. But we're trying to get this car done really on a time crunch because in in what well, my less than a month there is a drift event and I entered my car in it and obviously my car isn't working yet because the old engine isn't even out so uh, we got quite a bit of work to do but let's hope we can get it done let's go no more it's a lot here actually I think I can probably start taking apart this engine that can come off that can come off cams in there that will be helpful Cars on for jack stands. I think what we'll tackle first today is get rid of this bugger, get rid of this old ugly bumper, and put on the nicer, less protruding, and also well, less safe JDM bumper. All this coming off. We're putting in the beautiful red line. Uh, I got a set of tail lights coming too. Just to try to match it up a little more, you know? Everything looks a little redder. I stopped going for originality, so rather than going for originality, why not go for a little bit of flair? This looks cool. Alright, get tools. Put this size. Yeah, that's the right size. JD top tip. We're at home and trying to take off the rear pieces. Be careful when you do pull them apart like this because very likely you're going to end up breaking them like I have here. Um, it's so easy to break apart like that. So yeah, I broke them. Maybe it would be better if I clear out the trunk. <laughs> this is... Oops. <laughs> So Mrs. Fiona, first time working on a car, how do you feel? It's not the first time and you say you're not filming me. Why is that coming off? <laughs> it came out really easy last time, what the hell? Oh, there we go. One tail light off. The seals I think are still good. Hopefully I don't need to change them. I have to give Fiona credit at least. She helped me a little bit all over there. Did you? A little bit. A little bit. Only like three more left to go. I gave it to you with four left. Mm -hmm. One off. <laughs> you took one off in the time it took me to take six off. I, I really did think I was mechanically the worst person alive. I think I just found a rival. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we've taken the USDM bumper off successfully. There we go. Okay. The rear is basically stripped. Uh, I want to put on the cool key red lines, but we need to drill two holes around here-ish, which we'll do probably next time. I don't have to drill here. Uh, the entire bumper is off. But then we can't really mount the bumper brackets because we don't have the bolts necessary. Mm, that's on the to-do list too. Uh, other than that, I think we're probably going to have to move on to the rear sway bar. It should be down there-ish. Look at that thin little thing if you can see it. That, that piece. It's going to be replaced by whatever is in that bag. They're very curvy. That's going well. I'm getting all these sludges from the old roll bar all over my hair. Ew, that's pretty gross. Yes, I know. Ow. You're it going is. back in the trunk. What? You're going back in my trunk. What? You're going back in my trunk. You can't do that. <laughs> Fuck, I've been going the wrong way. 